The tale of Gil Perez is one of Mexico's oldest folk legends. As the story goes, Perez was guarding the Palacio del Gobernador in Manila, Philippines, at the time under control by the Spanish Empire. Manila at the time was in a hushed panic, as the governor Gomez Perez das Marinas had just been assassinated in a mutiny uprising at sea. Das Marinas failed to name a successor in his short time at the helm, and countless Spaniards stepped forward to claim leadership of the Philippines. While Gil Perez awaited the appointment of a new governor, he stood watch at the Intramuros district of Manila. The tale claims that Gil felt exhausted and dizzy, and leaned against a nearby wall to rest. When he opened his eyes, he found himself in the middle of Mexico City, nearly 14,000 kilometers away from the Philippines. Guards of New Spain noticed the strange uniform that Gil had, and got wind of his presence after he reportedly asked several bystanders in bewilderment, where am I? It is said that the guards took Gil to the Viceroy of New Spain, Luis de Velasco. After a round of questioning, Gil divulged that Das Marinas had been assassinated and explained his story. Although there was no way to confirm Gil's claim, the Viceroy was unable to explain the strange circumstances. He was handed off to the Holy Office of the Inquisition, otherwise known as the Spanish Inquisition. Gil was taken to Santo Domingo, modern-day Dominican Republic, where he was accused and jailed for desertion and being a servant of the devil. After due time in captivity, he was found to be a devout Christian and wasn't charged with any crime, yet without a solid decision, he remained imprisoned. It is said that a Spanish galleon arrived in Acapulco and backed up Gill's claims about the assassination in the Philippines. He was recalled back to Mexico City, where members of the galleon even claimed to recognize him as a palace guard in Manila. With this new revelation, Gil Perez was freed and sent on the next ship to Manila, at the time about an eight-week journey by sea, to return to his post as a palace guard. By the time he arrived to Manila, Dasmarinas' son, Luis Perez, had already been named the new governor. Officials had found one of his old documents that told his wishes of handing down the position to his son. It is here where the 1593 transported soldier legend ends and the unbelievable explanations begin. The story attracted conspiracy theorists like a moth to a flame, and two noted ufologists from the 20th century both claimed that there was no other possible explanation but alien interference. On the other side of conspiracy sat authors Colin Wilson and Gary Blackwood, who offered teleportation as a more reasonable suggestion. Blackwood was known for his fiction trilogy, The Shakespeare Stealer, and Wilson was known for his 1971 work, The Occult, A History. Of course, the plausibility of the story is incredibly thin when examined seriously. The first mention of Gil Perez was in a 1908 story by Thomas Alabone Hanvier, Legend of the Living Spectre. Hanvier traces the account back to a 1900 tale by Luis Gonzalez Obregón, who leaves the soldier unnamed. Though Obregón refers to it as a legend, he cites his inspirations from the 1698 story by Fray Gaspar de Saint Augustine, who recalls it as fact. It's also likely that this legend was inspired by the short story Governor Manco and the Soldier by Washington Irvin, featured in his 1831 collection Tales of the Alhambra. In this story, the premise remains the same, where a day's soldier awakens in a foreign land, in this case Andalusia, Spain, and the UNESCO World Heritage Site, the Alhambra. And what I don't believe is coincidental, the story was also based on Spanish colonial history. Instead of the Spanish conquest of the Philippines, this short story was inspired by the Spanish conquest of Alhambra, when the Spaniards overtook the royal palace from the Moors in the late 14th century. 
Aside from these obvious similarities, historian Antonio de Morga has claimed that Das Morinas' death was acknowledged in Mexico during the same day it occurred in the Philippines. There is suspicion that Das Marinas was killed over a plot to usurp his leadership for the control of the Philippines, and it is possible that some individuals had prior knowledge of the events before they happened. Although the legend of the transported soldier lives on today, it remains nothing more than a folktale and a part of historical fiction. With all of the truly unexplainable phenomena in the world today, I think I can accept that the Gil Perez of 1593 doesn't exist. Maybe. <laughs>